Hey everyone, it's Sue here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I am working in my traveler's notebook and I am working on a page that has Psalm 103 verse 18. The reason I'm recording this particular page was because when I first did this page, um, I did not like it at all at all at all at all um it had more flowers on it probably three or four more flowers on it and um gosh i looked at it and i was like you know what i want to rip this page out of here so it was like no 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 i am going to fix this page darn it <laughs> um so that's what i proceeded to do and i figure while i am fixing this i'll just kind of share it with all of you um so there is hope because i really do like the way it turned out <clears throat> so it took a lot to get there what i should have done was i should have ripped all of the um flowers off they're actually like um like a paper flower and they were um old close to my heart flowers i found them in my stash i'm like oh i'm gonna use those well you know what no i should not have <laughs> but i should have ripped all of the flowers off as opposed to just a few of them and i should have painted that yellow um, I did the yellow in the background, a really bright, solid yellow, because I knew I was going to have flowers on it. So when I took the flowers off of it, then I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, this is like super yellow. But the whole thing, all I'm doing, and you'll see me do it, I'm taking my Posca paint pens. Um, these are the fine tip and... Um, and I am just using different colors. I'm using orange. So I'm like trying to pull in some more orange um, into the lower um, section of the page. And these are Illustrated Faith um, hearts. So I did get to use some of those. I also found them in one of my bins. I'm like, and I have a whole nother package of them not even open yet. So it's like, oh, so I have to, you know, get using this stuff. And now I'm looking through some Illustrated Faith um, die cuts. And so I thought that this, this was cute and it was orange. And I wanted, like I said, to pull more orange to the bottom part of the page. And the reason I'm really covering up more of the page is because when I took those flowers off, it left glue, glue marks. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to do here. And this little guy was so cute. Of course, he's orange, but he was just like too long with that little phrase. And I don't remember what it said on it. Um, once I cut it off, he just tucked so nicely up under those like that bluish purple flower up on top he just looked so cute it was the perfect little place for him it was perfect and I was super happy with that so now I'm feeling like the the page is coming together um and all I do is I continue I can I have more color on these flowers and at the very end of the video stay tuned because um I hold it up and very slowly will let you see the whole page um, and you'll be able to see everything I did on the flowers. Um, so again, I'm trying to use some more of the the hearts. I was just holding that up there to see which one I liked. When I look at that top orange flower now with that green and then the orange, it reminds me of a pumpkin. <laughs> but it's cute in person. It's really cute. Um, so I added a few more of the hearts. So I'm feeling good, right? I'm feeling good that I am using up some hearts. And so you see me shaking really hard right there. So these, um, fine Posca paint pens, fine tip Posca paint pens are new. I've had Posca paint pens for years, 
but I've always used the medium tip, which I love. But I'm like, oh, well, I would like to try the, you know, more fine tip. So I did order these and I love this size. I also ordered the extra fine tip. They're coming from the UK. I don't know. I'm getting it like in a few weeks. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever they come to get here, I'm not in a rush. <laughs> but um, these I got quickly, but the other ones are, you know, coming from a distance. Um, so I'm just going around and I'm adding and I'm adding and I'm back to the orange now because I just don't have enough color on everything. <laughs> And now I need to add one more. I need, in that spot right there, I need to put something. And I wanted to put like some sort of something with a, you know, a phrase or a word or, or something. So I'm just looking through some of my ephemera. I almost went with that, but it was just too big. It just, I don't know, it just was clunky. So um, I decided not to. But then I did... Um, well, I tried this, but then I did find really just the perfect piece to go there. Oh, but first, look at this little guy. Oh, my gosh, a little turtle. He is just perfect for down there. Watch. Watch how cute this looks. And I decide now I need him all the way down to the bottom. And there he is. Look at how cute he is. Doesn't it make that look adorable? I was like, oh, my gosh. That is so perfect with the little owl up on top and the little turtle on the bottom and they look super cute. So I continue to outline and put dots on, on the flowers and I'm showing you there. Oh, I needed that to fill that spot and this was perfect. It says go with God. It was the perfect size um, and it just fit the, the page. It was just perfect. So, and it, and it covered up um, another spot of glue that was on there left over from a flower that I pulled off. So at this point now, all of the glue is covered um, from the flowers that I pulled off. So I'm good with that now. And now I decide I need to add some white. And I put little white dots in a whole bunch of different places and and I was liking that a lot. And again, remember at the end of the video, I'll hold this up so you can see up close. So tell me, comment below and tell me when you have a page that you absolutely do not like, what do you do with it? Do you ever throw it out? Do you try to fix it? Sometimes I fi try to fix pages and it just, I can't right so I just like end up throwing it out anyway but um yeah yeah but I was happy I was happy I stuck with this and the end result came out really cute it's a really busy page but when I do my um, share <clears throat> on Saturday this coming Saturday uh, because I finished Psalm 103 so I want to show you guys that and I'm starting Psalm 23, which is much shorter. Um, so um, you'll see it's like very busy. Like the last like couple pages are super busy. And I, and I kind of like it. So I think I have like a Tombow um, pen here. And I'm writing, remember to do his commandments. So I would have to start on the page before. So verse 17, but the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting, everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's 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 children. Um, verse 18, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. And that's why I wrote on there, remember to do his commandments. And here we go. I'm just going to show you real up close here. Uh, lots of colors. I love the end result. Let me know what you think of it. 
go ahead and if you haven't subscribed yet i would love to have you i'm trying to grow this channel um if you know anybody that would like this please share it with them um i appreciate you all so much thank you and god bless